Have you ever wondered what fuels the relentless energy of elite endurance athletes? How do they manage to push through the most grueling races, seemingly defying the limits of human stamina? The secret, my friends, isn't just in their rigorous training, but also hidden within the meals they consume. Welcome to the world where nutrition powers endurance, a place where every bite and sip can mean the difference between hitting the wall and breaking through it. Today, we're diving deep into the core of endurance sports success story, the critical role of nutrition. But we're not just talking about eating healthy, we're unraveling the mystery of perfecting calories and macronutrients, which are carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, the very building blocks of an athlete's diet. These aren't just fancy terms, they're your ammunition in the battle against fatigue, your allies in the quest for recovery, and your secret weapon to boost performance. Our mission is clear, to guide you through the labyrinth of nutrition science, making it simple, understandable, and most importantly, actionable. Whether you're a seasoned marathoner, an inspiring triathlete, or anyone in between, mastering your diet could be the game changer you've been searching for. Stick around as we unlock the secrets to optimizing your diet for endurance activities, transforming not just how you eat, but how you perform and conquer the challenges ahead. All right, let's get into understanding energy needs. Did you know not everyone needs the same amount of fuel, aka calories every day? It's true, your body's calorie needs are as unique as your fingerprint, influenced by a bunch of factors like how much you move, whether you're male or female, your age, and even the mysterious workings of your metabolism. It's like your personal calorie fingerprint. Now let's break down two terms that sound like they belong in a science lab, but are super important for understanding this calorie puzzle. Basal metabolic rate, or BMR, and Total Daily Energy Expenditure, TDEE. Think of your BMR as the amount of energy or calories your body needs to just keep the lights on. Breathing, keeping your heart beating, maintaining body temperature, and all the behind the scenes work your body does without even thinking about it. It's like the base rate you'd pay for a streaming service, except it's for your body to function at rest. Then there's TDEE. This is where things get really interesting. Your TDEE includes your BMR plus all the extra energy you burn through moving, digesting food, and yes, even that endurance training you're so passionate about. It's the total picture of your calorie needs, like your BMR subscription with all the premium add-ons of your daily activities. Now, the million dollar question. How do you figure out these numbers for yourself, especially if you're gearing up for endurance activities? Good news, you don't need a degree in nutrition science. There are a ton of calculators out there that can help you get these numbers with just a few clicks. But here's the kicker. Knowing these numbers is just the start. The real magic happens when you learn to adjust your calorie intake based on your training intensity and duration. Training for a marathon? You'll need to fuel up more. Taking a light training day? Maybe ease up on the calories. The goal here is to become a master of your own body's fueling strategy, ensuring you have enough energy to power through your training without overdoing it. It's a delicate balance, but once you get the hang of it, it's a game changer for your performance. Now let's break down the superhero squad of nutrition, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and their vital roles in the world of endurance sports. Imagine these macronutrients as your support crew, each with a special role to keep you running, cycling, or swimming longer and stronger. Carbohydrates are like the quick and agile members of the team, always ready to give you that burst of speed and energy when you need it the most. They're your primary fuel source during high-intensity endurance work. Imagine this, you're in the middle of a race, your muscles are screaming, and you're pushing hard. Carbs are the ones that quickly step in, breaking down into glucose to feed your muscles and keep you moving. They're like the nitro boost in a car race, giving you that immediate power when the pedal hits the metal. Next up, we have proteins, the wizards of muscle repair and recovery. After a grueling workout, your muscles are like a city after a comic book superhero battle needing some serious repair work. Proteins come in with their magic wands, or as we call them amino acids, to rebuild and repair those muscle fibers, making them stronger and ready for the next challenge. They ensure you can get back out there day after day without feeling like you've been hit by a damn truck. Finally, we have fats, the endurance enhancers of the team. They're like the wise sage characters who know how to conserve energy and use it efficiently over the long haul. When you're in a long duration, lower intensity activity and your body is burned through its carb storage, fats step up to the plate. They provide a slow and steady energy source, keeping you going like the Energizer Bunny. They ensure you can withstand those extra miles without burning out. In the realm of endurance performance, understanding and balancing these three macronutrients can be like mastering the elements. 
Carbs give you that immediate energy source, proteins repair and build your muscles for future battles, and fats keep the flame burning for the long journey. By fueling your body with the right amounts of each, you could optimize your performance, recovery, and overall health, making you a formidable force in the world of endurance sports. Okay, now we need to optimize the timing of your nutrition. Imagine you're a rocket about to blast off into the vastness of space, or maybe just going for a long run. Your pre-activity meal is the fuel in your tanks. You want to fill up with the right kind of fuel at the right time to ensure a smooth liftoff. Aim for a meal rich in carbohydrates, moderate in protein, and low in fat to keep things light and efficient. This could be something like oatmeal with a banana and a dab of peanut butter, eaten about two to three hours before your activity. The carbs are your quick fire energy, the protein is there for muscle support, and the fat keeps you feeling satisfied. Timing is crucial. Eat too soon and you'll be running on empty. Eat too late and you might feel like you're lifting off with a full tank of gas in the most uncomfortable sense. Now, you're in the thick of it, muscles pumping and heart racing. This is no time to run out of fuel. Carbohydrates are your best friends here, acting like those quick pit stops for a splash of gas in a race. Depending on the intensity and duration, you might want a small, easily digestible carb snack or drink every 45 to 60 minutes. Think energy gels, sports drinks, or even a banana if you can manage it. And let's not forget hydration. Water is crucial, but for activities lasting longer than an hour, consider a sports drink with electrolytes to replace what you sweat out and keep your body's electrical system firing on all cylinders. Congratulations, now you've crossed the finish line. But hold up, the journey isn't over yet. Your body is like a car that just finished a cross-country race. It needs some serious TLC. Within the first 30 minutes to an hour after your activity, aim to refuel with a mix of carbohydrates and protein. Think a three to one ratio. This could be a protein shake with fruit or a chicken sandwich with some veggies. The carbs help replenish the energy storage you've depleted, and the protein kicks start the repair process for your muscles, making sure you're ready and raring for your next adventure. By mastering the art of pre-activity nutrition, maintaining your energy and hydration during the event, and optimizing your post-activity recovery, you're not just participating in your endurance activities, you're conquering them. Remember, every meal and snack is an opportunity to feel your body's engine just right keeping it running like a dream. All right, let's get into the juicy stuff. The world of meal planning for the endurance athlete, making it as engaging as the training itself. I'll give you some examples on what to eat. Whether you're preparing for a marathon, a bike race, or any endurance event, how and what you eat can significantly impact your performance and recovery. Now, for training days, these are the days when your body is like a high-performance machine and you're pushing it to its limits. For breakfast, start with a bowl of oatmeal topped with berries and a drizzle of honey, coupled with a side of scrambled eggs for that protein kick. It's like loading your muscles with the best kind of fuel. Then for lunch, a quinoa salad with grilled chicken, mixed greens, nuts, and a vinaigrette dressing. It's a perfect mix of protein, carbs, and fats to keep you going. For some healthy snacks, hummus with carrot sticks or a banana with almond butter. These are quick pit stops to refuel. And then for dinner, grilled salmon with sweet potato and steamed broccoli. It's not just delicious, it's a nutritional powerhouse. Then we have the rest days. Here, your body's in the garage getting tuned up for the next race. Here are some examples of what to eat. For breakfast, Greek yogurt with granola and mixed fruit. A lighter start but still packed with protein and carbs. Lunch, a turkey and avocado wrap with a side salad, keeping it light but balanced. Some snacks, a handful of nuts or a piece of fruit, simple but effective. And then dinner, stir-fried tofu or chicken breast with vegetables over brown rice, a satisfying end to a restful day. Your body needs shift based on the workout's intensity and length, so here's the deal. For high intensity and long durations, amp up the carbs. Your body will be burning through its glycogen stores, so load up on healthy carbs before and after. Then for lower intensity and shorter durations, scale back on the carbs slightly. Focus more on proteins and fats to fuel your recovery. Let's talk about the importance of meal prepping. It's like laying out your workout gear the night before. Prep your meals in bulk to save time and ensure you're always fueled. Cook grains, proteins, and veggies in large quantities and mix and match them throughout the week. Even subscribing to a meal prep service is great as well. You end up saving time and money, and they usually come with easy-to-read macros so you know which meals to have at specific times of the day. Here's a simple but really important tip. Always have a recovery snack ready to go after your training or event. A protein shake or a small sandwich can make a world of difference in how you recover. 
By following these meal planning strategies, adjusting your intake based on your training, and mastering the art of meal prepping and on-the-go nutrition, you'll be setting yourself up for success. Remember, your diet is as crucial to your training as the miles you log or the weights you lift. Fuel smart, train hard, and crush those endurance goals. So navigating the world of sports nutrition can feel like setting out on an epic quest. You've got your training plan in hand, but what about the strategy? I'm going to guide you with some trusty tools and resources that will ensure you're not just starting the race, but leading the pack. BMR, Basal Metabolic Rate, and TDEE, Total Daily Energy Expenditure calculators are like your nutritional compasses. You can easily search for any of these calculators online and there are many available for free. The BMR calculator is a tool that will show you the minimum number of calories your body needs to function at rest. The TDEE calculator adds on your activity level to give you a complete picture of your daily calorie needs. Then we have the hydration calculator. This nifty gadget estimates how much fluid you need to stay hydrated during your adventures. Remember, hydration isn't just about water, it's about keeping those electrolyte levels balanced too, so your body doesn't hit a drought. Here's some books and articles that are treasure troves of information. The Sports Nutrition Handbook by Justina Mizera, a great starting for understanding how to fuel your body for peak performance. Then we have Advanced Sports Nutrition by Dan Benardot, dive deeper into the science of nutrition and its impact on your training and recovery. And then we have Nancy Clark's Sports Nutrition Guidebook, a classy, easy to understand guide that covers the basics and beyond. Also, a professional personal guide can make all the difference in navigating the treacherous terrains of sports nutrition. Some of these include registered dietitian nutritionists and certified sports nutritionists. They can help fine tune your diet and tailor a nutrition plan specifically for you to ensure you're getting the right balance of macros, micronutrients, and hydration for your sports and training. Embarking on this journey, armed with the right tools, wisdom, and personal guides, you'll be well on your way to mastering the art and science of sports nutrition for endurance. Remember, the goal is not just to reach the finish line, but to soar across it, fueled by knowledge, preparation, and a solid nutrition strategy. If you enjoyed your time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more health and fitness information. And remember to keep flexing all your new knowledge and then glowing with the results. Catch you next time, fam.